As public expenditure has become an obsession in the post-crisis period, e-government has become inevitable for all economies. E-government allows simple and fast execution of administrative procedures. People can get easy access to government information with less cost and time. For Vietnam, which has just become a middle-income country, using IT in government activities offers a way to make the government apparatus work more effectively at less cost. It is a key target of the government's project to reform administrative procedures. On June 12, 2014, the Ministry of Information and Communications, in collaboration with Microsoft, organized a workshop, Microsoft Openness and Cloud Computing, to discuss and recommend surpassing solutions towards the construction process of e-government on open source cloud platform. It is considered a ground breakthrough strategy with a top priority in the development process of e-government in Vietnam. Hello everyone and you're watching Sharing Vietnam on VTC Tennet Viet. Vietnam has the target to become a strong IT nation by 2020. It's also working on applying e-government step by step. On June 12, 2014, the Ministry of Information and Communication of Vietnam, in cooperation with Microsoft Vietnam, organized the workshop named Microsoft Openness and Cloud Computing, discussing on the best solution for Vietnam in applying e-government. And that's going to be the topic of sharing Vietnam today with the Platform Strategy Director and also the Chef Technology Officers of Microsoft Asia Pacific. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Sangitar Jaramand and Eric Stephens. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining Sharing Vietnam. Would you please share with us on the main purpose of the seminar named Microsoft Openness and uh, Cloud Computing uh, organized by Ministry of Information and Communication of Vietnam and Microsoft Vietnam? Uh, sure, thank you for the question. Um, the, the Vietnam government and the MIC have a great vision around how they want to use cloud computing to actually um, you know, um, improve the local IT services and make Vietnam a leader in that space. Uh, we uh, wanted to make sure that uh, we could partner with the government on this ambition and provide them with the tools um, and the platforms that are needed to help them succeed. Uh, so, um, you know, with their support, we were able to set up this seminar and, um, you know, talk through the different challenges and opportunities that are available in this space. After listening to the presentation of uh, Vietnam's representative from the Ministry of Information and Communication, what are your comments on the national ICT strategy of Vietnam and also the way it's working? We're all facing this IT tech. 80 challenges they call now cloud computing. Cloud computing has been with us for at least 10 years, but it's shifting the paradigm in many senses. And a government, of course, is one of the huge uh, stakeholders in, in, this, in this shift. So um, the cloud computing or cloud or G cloud, that is actually government cloud, that what it means is, is again, it's the journey and it's the different stages different kinds of, of government clouds. It's not like a black or white approach. There's several grays in the middle, depending on levels of maturity of the agencies, of the workloads, data classification. There's many interesting topics that we should be addressing together with MIC to make this a reality. Cloud computing can be considered the best solution for e-government in Vietnam and also around the world. So may you share with us on the uh, best features of G-Cloud? Well, the government cloud, uh, we, call it gover we call it cloud in your terms. That's what we're saying to MIC and to other agencies here in Vietnam. Uh, it's not one kind of cloud. So it depends on, the, the again, the workloads, the level of maturity. What is the service for the citizen? or it's an internal 
uh, system that we need to make more efficient. Uh, so basically the, the idea around this is to share experiences. Right? We have been working with many governments, fortunately for us, in the region, in Southeast Asia, here in Vietnam. So what a better combination that a uh, agency like the MIC who has this vision and our experience to, to make this possible, and not only possible, to accelerate the pace. I think that's a critical uh, objective for, for the government. Um, over the years, the government, MIC, uh, they've made some great investments for the citizens uh, in technology, right? Um, they, uh, these technology investments um, have uh, brought about a combination of different technologies um, in the data centers. Now, as we leverage this you know, acceleration to the G Cloud, um, it is important to be able to harmonize that. Um, the, our commitment to openness uh, basically says that, look, I mean, we believe that if the customer need is for everything to interoperate, we will help support that. So um, as a part of this openness, uh, what we offer is support for open source, support for open standards, and an assurance that our cloud is open, secure, and flexible. So um, that is what we hope to bring to the table here uh, to help the government with the vision. On April the 1st, 2014, the Japan-funded Vietnam Automated Cargo and Port Consolidated System and the Vietnam Customs Information System officially began operating, making a significant breakthrough in creating favorable conditions for export and import activities. It can be considered as one of the latest steps that Vietnam has made in building e-government. In pace with the new trends of global IT, Vietnam understands that cloud computing helps to save state budget, improve IT performance, and accelerate innovation of bureaucracy. Hiện nay cái ứng dụng công nghệ về công thông tin của Việt Nam được cải tiến đáng kể. Thì đặc biệt là trong các cơ quan nhà nước thì cũng đã ứng dụng công thông tin và cái chính phủ cũng như là các quan bộ ngành cũng doanh nghiệp công nghệ thông tin ở Việt Nam cũng đang ngày càng À, đầu tư nhiều hơn để sử dụng cái nguồn lực công nghệ thông tin một cách có hiệu một cách hợp lý và có hiệu quả và đồng thời thì tất cả các cái chính quyền của từ địa phương đến trung ương và các doanh nghiệp thì đều có những cái cổng thông tin à, điện tử hoặc trang web trung ương thông tin để cung cấp thông tin ra xã hội và để sử dụng tốt hơn các cái dịch vụ của doanh nghiệp và người dân thì à, chính phủ Việt Nam và Bộ Thông tin Truyền thông cũng đã có đề xuất đã áp dụng cái công nghệ thông tin đặc biệt là cái định hướng cho cái việc sử dụng điện toán đám mây tại Việt Nam. Breakthroughs in Microsoft Open Platform Solutions will pave the way for the development of model powerful and effective cloud data centers. The flexibility, security, as well as high speed of information processing and analysis and timely report procedures of these solutions will contribute to the decision-making process at management levels, building strategic vision for the development of e-government towards the ultimate goal is to bring greater benefits to the citizens in the process of using dynamic and intelligent services. E-government is also concerning the security of the nation and also the uh, service for its citizens. So may share with us on um, the security uh, sectors of G-Cloud. It's security, absolutely. It's privacy. It's reliability. These are three critical components to think about the cloud. I would say to even think about moving something to the cloud, the first question should be, uh, how do I address security, privacy, and reliability, right? reliability? But in terms of security, I can tell you that uh, any serious cloud provider should be looking at compliance and should be looking at security standards in the world. When you go to this esoteric term called cloud, it's not a cloud. You can isolate a cloud in Vietnam, actually. You can isolate a cloud in an agency if you want. But in a global world, Cloud, cloud, that's the beauty of cloud, because it, 
really it, the, it's exchanging information around countries, making your small and medium enterprises in Vietnam more competitive because they have this huge opportunity of using cloud investments in an OPEX way instead of investing in the infrastructure they need to deploy their, their services. So security is the name of the game, absolutely. It's about service level agreements, right? Uh, backups, disaster recovery plans. But again, I will sure return back to international standards because it's an international world, it's an international cloud, exchanges come and go or without frontiers. Vietnam is a middle-income country and a developing country also. Um, and budget is one of the main concern of Vietnam while building the uh, e-government. So uh, may you share with us on the best way to uh, save money and have a best e-government? I think that's, that's a very important uh, aspect of the cloud. Um, and that's called elasticity, right? Uh, elasticity is an OPEX operation of expenditure model rather than a CAPEX where you invest in a huge infrastructure. Now governments can really look at the cloud to be more cost effective in any deployment, right? Because they don't have to invest in this huge infrastructure. The infrastructure is there. So you, you go as you pay as you go, right? And this is really important because the government can focus on the core aspects of a government, like citizen services, and rely on service or, or cloud providers like Microsoft and our cloud service providers in Vietnam to take care of, to take care of that part of the business or, or the core infrastructure of, of the government. I do believe that uh, you know Microsoft is pretty well positioned uh, to help Vietnam with its ICT strategy. Uh, during the session, we talked about a couple of things. We talked about capacity building, um, and uh, you know different people have different skill sets, right? And again, with the work that we're doing around openness, with the commitment to openness, we hope to be able to um, you know help all these different people leverage these different skill sets and contribute to the local software economy. Once again, thank. Thank you both for joining Sharing Vietnam today and we hope that you will be back in Vietnam sharing with us more best solution for e-government. That's all we have for today's program. Thank you so much for watching Sharing Vietnam. Hoping that with this program you have uh, the information on the process of building, applying e-government in Vietnam. Thank you so much for watching it. If you have any question or recommendation, please send us an email to sharingvietnam at vtc.vn. Leave you for today and see you next time.